Welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time and the memorial to St. Vincent de Paul, priest. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Today, Listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the Flock. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready, I will sing. I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations, happy to be known as companions of your Son. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden.
Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, They shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. They themselves shall be like watered gardens, never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works, and give glory to your Father. God's Word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God, in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed, they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of our God in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion. Walk all around it. Count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles, that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, the body of your risen Son is the temple not made by human hands and the defending wall of the new Jerusalem. May this holy city, built on living stones, shine with spiritual radiance and witness to your greatness in the sight of all nations. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching.
Vincent consoled the sorrowful, defended the rights of orphans, and generously aided widows. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Vincent consoled the sorrowful, defended the rights of orphans, and generously aided widows. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of Shepherd of Souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Nourish your people, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you gave Vincent de Paul the courage and holiness of an apostle for the well-being of the poor and the formation of the clergy. Help us to be zealous in continuing his work. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Thursday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time and the memorial to St. Vincent de Paul, priest. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary and Matthew Curtis of Choral Tracks. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours.